I think this easily was the best film I've seen this year at this festival. Um, and I think uh, once it does release, I think a lot of people should check it out. I'm really high on this film. So, yeah, let's let's jump into my review of the film Unidentified Objects. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Unidentified Objects, which made its Texas premiere at Fantastic Fest 2022. So I don't know where it made its world premiere, um, but um, I do know that a handful of folks have checked this film out. And um, already I can say that a lot of people did agree with how I felt as well, too, or I agree with how they felt, um, that this film is fantastic. I thought the acting alone is worth watching uh that goes from matthew jeffers who plays peter uh to sarah hay who plays wyona um and the two of them they go on this little road trip uh from the uh within the u.s and the canada because wyona says hey i was kidnapped by some uh aliens some years ago and i need to re reunite with them um the issue is that peter is playing the pandemic as safe as possible social distancing um you know mask uh, all those sorts of different things. Limited contact here. Um, but when he decides to go with her, you know, that definitely gets him out of his comfort zone for a lot of reasons. The, the pandemic, um, sort of his his social experience in the back, being out in the pandemic. You know, a lot of people, if you remember yourself, at a point, we wasn't really talking to nobody. We were kind of isolated, you know, or should have been isolated. Um, so kind of getting back into the groove of things. And I think there's a level of, like, vulnerability between the two of them. Um... Peter, who obviously is protecting himself because it's the right thing to do, but also because he has some health issues as well. And so, like, you know, him opening up to her, but opening up with himself, being comfortable with the whole a journey and experience, and, and, and just every other thing that's kind of thrown their way. And the fact that they're going to find aliens, and he's definitely not so sold on that idea, but here we are. Uh, but yeah, his performance, their their performance together is very, very good. Um, I just was just like, yeah. Um, but you know, with the film being called Unidentified Objects, you know, but before you actually got into like this sci-fi aspect of it, there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of heart. There was comedy. A until the last 20 minutes, and that's where things got really weird and all the abduction stuff that we thought we may get did start to occur um and i think also too i think the film just really nailed it uh in terms of how they ended this film because once you kind of got into the sci-fi thing i started to feel like okay this is this going to feel like two separate films or would it be a little bit of continuity between things because when things got crazy they got crazy you know um and i think that um as we go on this adventure of uh, wyona by the way is a um sex worker and you know dealing with that um and and and, and sort of the attention that that kind of commands and 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 peter uh being um open about uh his struggles uh his his family dynamic his sexuality you know it, it, it's really the two of them um and i think it's sort of like a mirror perspective about humans getting back into the world after the pandemic or you know once things started to kind of lift a little bit um, and I think that like it, it's it's a clear it's, it's it's like a clear reflection of like no matter how somebody may look, everybody has their own challenges. We're all kind of struggling. We're all you have challenges that we're trying to overcome. And I think these two characters took us on that ride, that adventure uh, through conversations, very deep conversations as well too, heartbreaking moments, uh, conflict, uh, all danger, trouble, rejection. There's a lot of different things that kind of happen in this film. Um, so I really really enjoyed this film the acting performances alone the storytelling um at times how this film felt really refreshing like a film i had never seen before and like i love a good road trip in in, in in films because those are when you get a lot of character work where you where you really get to see these actors do what they do best uh but for whatever reason i think that these two and how they work together just really f didn't feel like anything i had seen before and that was that was that was good. That felt that felt it felt different, but it it, it was received really well. And again, the, the the how they end it 
I think they completely nailed the ending of this film, um, telling important messages. Um, and I think maybe may allow some people to kind of, you know, look themselves in the in the mirror and, and 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 confront some of their own insecurities and and fears and and all sorts of things that um, they may have been struggling with, especially during the pandemic. So unidentified objects totally check it out uh come back in the comments let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon